Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of January 31st through February 15th, 2019. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Um, if you would like your own personal reading, because everyone's story will be different, then you would email tomajtarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Um, if you want a phone reading, I don't schedule those. You just have to catch me when I'm on. Um, I was trying to make myself a little set schedule, but I just keep deviating from it um so just make sure that you are um that you're subscribed so that you can see when i post up that youtube video saying that i'm taking calls if that video is not there that means i'm not taking calls and um also you guys are going to have to register before speaking with me on the phone now the company did some changes and um you know they you you would have to register because i was getting too many calls so they had to tweak the system or something and they told me that to tell, let the viewers know that they have to register before speaking to me now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have the central issue as the King of Wands. We also have the Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So <clears throat> I feel that someone <laughs> has been spying on you or you are the spire since this could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. But someone, this guy this card is sometimes it creeps me out sometimes it turns me on because he has such a seductive look to him it depends if you are someone who's attracted to this person that is spying on you hey your crush or your love interest is you know being very seductive or you as the the passionate person you see what you want and you're going after it now for some of you, this is someone from your past. This is someone that you're familiar with. Um, even if you're already involved in a relationship, there's something going on. Let me address the people who are single though, or who have like um, a love interest, or maybe they're unaware that someone is, is looking at them. Um, but someone has been creeping around, lurking around. Um, this is definitely some sort of lurking energy and they want you. I just feel like someone has just really been observing you. They they want to have this conversation. They want to take you out. They want to dine you. They want to screw you. You know, these are all these things. Guys, please turn the story around. Um, <laughs> uh, just put it, it could not very well could be that it's a girl lurking around. She wants to screw you. <laughs> she wants you to take her out. So just turn it around, tweak it. Um, but there is definitely some sort of seductive energy going on. I feel like there is lurking energy going on. Um, the people, the energy of the people that I'm getting, uh, someone who is, who's very, uh, fashionable, uh, maybe fashion forward. This person, they, they wear nice shoes, name designer shoes, um, not just gym shoes or sneakers, but they also wear, they, they might have like Italian made shoes or, you know, something that's popular in another country. They can name their belt. Um, uh, this is someone who might be classic or old school in a sense, like they like their old school fashion. Um, I don't know, I'm getting the name Louis Vuitton. So someone is just very, um, very fashion forward. Uh, I also see someone who studies the occult. I see someone who, they might be spiritual, but they are kind of materialistic. 
Uh, I see someone who's a smoker. I see someone who's old fashioned, someone who might be a homebody, someone who's very secretive. I see someone who has a strong sexual drive, someone very mysterious, uh, someone who does play mind games from time to time. Now keep in mind, I could be describing your character watching this. Also, as far as the zodiacs, I'm getting um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, maybe Aquarius. Excuse me. Um, I'm seeing both something physical, like sexual, with this. Like again, I was talking about how someone. I don't know somebody gonna call me a freak again, but I'm seeing someone who wants to shoot off into you or someone who has been doing that to your images um, or they think about you and they do that. Um, but I feel like the feeling is mutual. Like you've done that before to this person too. You've thought about them and, and found pleasure within yourself. Um, now also what I get from this from the non-sexual side is that you're there's chemistry between you and this person there's strong attraction the attraction is mutual um i also see this as maybe having some level of spiritual um something in that in regards to spirituality that you might have in common um, it could be beliefs, it could be uh, anything dealing with metaphysics, but I feel like there's something spiritual in, in regards to you guys too. And I see communication in the possibility of travel or someone talking about travel. Now also I'm seeing someone asking for something like saying, hey, can you send me this? So someone might want you to send something to them. They might want you to send pictures. They might want you to send a uh, borrowed money or you might need to borrow money um, or someone wants you to send a package or deliver a package. So I'm seeing someone asking for something that has to do with sending or travel. And I'm seeing that, you know, overall like communication. So I feel like you're going to hear from someone, especially Someone might have secret plans to share something with you, share a secret with you, like their their intent, whatever they've been covering up or whatever you've been covering up. It's like, OK, I want to share this with you. So someone may be getting ready to share their secrets with you, even if they're like, I've been stalking your Facebook page or I've been stalking your Instagram page. Like someone is getting ready to share some sort of secret with you or you them. Um. I also see this as it's still I'm still seeing something in regards to someone um, from your past returning from your past. Um, so you might know this person from childhood, high school, college or just from way back. It, it doesn't have to be an ex, but you know this person. It might be a friend of an ex. It might be a friend. So especially too. There could be some sort of something secretive going on, like you're planning to meet up with someone in secret um, or you're having a secret relationship with someone or someone that you shouldn't be with for whatever reason. Um, because the Seven of Swords is here, that's, you know, some sort of deception. Um, so it could be, you know, running off with someone like an... Um, your ex's friend, like you know this person, um, or messing around with the, the baby's mother or baby's father. There's some, some familiarity with this card, but it's also having deception with it. Um, but I do feel like you're going to find some sort of emotional fulfillment um, within the next two weeks. Um, someone, I feel like you're spending time with someone or someone wants to spend time with you in your home or maybe even coming to visit you or there could be some traveling involved. Maybe someone is asking, can I can I live with you or can I stay with you? Can I visit you? They're asking something. And so there is an opportunity being presented for the two of you to connect. This can even that sexual energy, it, it, you know, this could be the opportunity to, you know, 
have sex, especially if it's been a while. Um, so let me see to what this Seven of Swords is talking about. I'm seeing something in regards to someone sneaking off, making secret plans to visit each other um, or to meet each other either at a museum, a park, an amusement park, or someplace where there's games. Also, someone has been hiding the fact that they miss you or that they're in love with you. But they're they're planning on expressing this to you. Yeah, someone has some sort of secret plans that they're they're carrying out. Also, 77 may be significant for some of you. Also, the number six or 66. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing here someone may be at a distance from you. I feel too that someone has been waiting for something to happen or secretly anticipating something. Um, you've been waiting for a while. You've been praying and wishing and waiting for a while. You've had to have a lot of patience for something to take place. I'm definitely seeing some sort of plan being carried out. See, he's been plotting and planning. The emperor has been plotting and planning. He's been thinking about you, or if you are the emperor watching, you have been thinking about someone. You've been planning on visiting them. You, you are planning on being open with how you feel, just allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Maybe at first you weren't ready to put yourself out there like that. Um, and you've been preparing for this. It's like, you know, if I want to be with this person, that means that I have to open up. It means I have to allow love to come in. And so I feel like someone has been conditioned or preparing themselves to be open and honest and vulnerable with another person. Yeah. See, the emperor, he he's in love. The emperor is in love and he wants to give his cup to somebody. Um, so some, somebody's going to be getting, receiving a call. There is an attraction. I'm also seeing a possibility of age difference here. Um, yeah, he's going to take a, a chance, a risk. He's saying, I don't care anymore. Let the world know. Let everybody know. Um, someone is also making some sort of sacrifice in order to be together. So yeah, even um, if, if you're single, I feel like there's someone new uh, coming, not new, but I just feel like overall someone is coming into your life within these next two weeks. So you're going to hear from someone that you've been wanting to hear from or who you feel is a mutual love interest. Um, hmm. I'm seeing... Again, this has been a theme that's kind of been showing up, but I'm seeing a need to compromise like people who are involved in like um, polyamorous relationships. Um, I'm feeling like people are compromising or being open or making some sort of arrangements of how it's going to work. Um, how are we going to work this out? You know, do you, you know? Who gets Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Who gets Friday, Saturday, Sunday? 
Um, do we live all together? Do we live in separate homes? Um, how are we going to do this? So I know that's not everyone's story, but I do feel like for some people is, is there is a open relationship there, but there's fulfillment here. Everybody's happy. Everybody's trying to find a way to make everyone happy. Um, maybe in the past there was sneaking, someone was sneaking around with this, but now they're like, look, let's just put it out into the open. Um, let's be honest with each other. Let's talk about this. How are we going to do this? Or it could be a situation where it's like, hey, I know how you feel about this person or that person. Especially if you're in a relationship, it's like, okay, I know you have feelings for this person, but, you know, what are we going to do about it? Do you, do you want to stay together or do you want to leave me? Or are you going to leave me? Should I leave? Or maybe you're having a conversation with yourself. Should I stay with this person? So it's kind of like that lover's energy where you have to choose between um, two people here. Um, yeah, there's definitely some sort of compromise having to take place and someone is opening up and sharing the secrets of their heart with the other person, um, or maybe putting it out there even publicly, like on the internet, talking, expressing how they feel for somebody, just kind of putting it all out there. Um, someone may be, someone admires you um someone may be especially see if there is some sort of age difference someone may be looking at you as oh my god she's so mature like i'm turned on by her maturity by her independence or you as a woman are viewing some guy like that um just attracted to his his maturity and i felt like i got like a similar message and i think the scorpio reading um but like being attracted to someone for their maturity and their wisdom as well. So it's not just some sort of, you know, physical attraction. Now, I also see that as advice that, you know, just go with the flow of things, just allow things to play out, see where it's leading. Um, don't fight against whatever's happening because the will is you're you're like in alignment with your destiny. This is something that was supposed to happen. This is part of the script that you wrote before you incarnated here. So just roll with it. Just see where, where it's leading you. This is an opportunity, some sort of opportunity that has now presented itself. There could be getting ready to be some sort of changes in your life. Um, if there are no changes, these changes, I feel like they're going to take place either we're already at the end of the month, uh, like tomorrow's the last day in January. Um, but I feel like something is taking place by the time you see this video or something could be taking place moving into Pisces season. But there is getting ready to be some sort of changes, especially too if you've been single for a long time, because the nine of Pentacles, you know, she's been tending her garden for a while. The Pentacles are slow moving energy. She's been there for a while. She's but she hasn't been sad. You know, she's pretty much content. Um, she knows who she is. Even if you're a guy, you know who you are. This person knows who they are. They're confident. Uh, they're self-sufficient. Um, they're not a needy person. They're not, and nor are they in a rush for love, but it's coming. There's a change. There's a shift. So you, your, your status could be changing from going from single to partnered here. Maybe you have to, you know, do some dating because also the three of, of, of cups here could be just about you going out and dating other people and then finally settling down with the person who you feel most comfortable with. Um, so if it's not necessarily like a, a open relationship or a love triangle, then this is about, you know, you just dating and not really taking anyone too serious because you're like, well, I have several potentials, so I'm keeping an open mind here. Uh, I want to, you know, make sure that I'm getting involved with the best possible option. But I feel like the people that you're connecting with, they do want tradition. They do want something traditional. They do want something. Uh, they do want stability. Um, they do want, you know, something that they can call someone that they can call home or their partner or the one, you know, it's like. Someone is still old fashioned, regardless of whatever is happening um, in your storyline. 
I also see the possibility of uh, the news of pregnancy or childbirth, especially if you're already in a relationship. This could be um, you having to go through the nine months of pregnancy here and you being with child um, or the time is, you know, is right if you're fertile here. So, I mean, I do see a lot of more things, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So, I mean, I hope there was a message in here for you that resonated um, or that if you're single, hopefully this is something that will come to pass. Uh, even though with the Nine of Pentacles, it doesn't look like you're in a rush, but, you know, it looks like someone is coming back around, especially with the Six of Cups. You're going to hear from somebody, okay? So, um hope this helps. Don't forget to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and many blessings to you.